Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to downgrade from iOS 9.3.4 back to iOS 9.3.3 so that you can completely jailbreak using the Pangu jailbreak utility. Now we're going to get into jailbreaking more toward the end of this video after you've downgraded, but first there are several caveats and a number of things that we actually have to get into. First and foremost, this downgrade method will actually preserve the majority of your data. However, you may lose text messages, non-iCloud-based notes, and contacts that are not backed up in iCloud. Of course, the most contacts these days are stored in iCloud. And this is definitely better than not keeping anything at all. Now, the reason that this happens is we simply cannot back up on iOS 9.3.4, downgrade to 9.3.3, and then restore from the backup that we created because Apple actually blocks backups created on a higher firmware. And the same thing goes for iCloud. If you have your data backed up in iCloud on 9.3.4, you will not be able to restore store back to that. So this method is better than nothing and unless you just created a backup on iOS 9.3.3 we're going to be utilizing this. Also this is absolutely key this guide will stop functioning once Apple stops signing iOS 9.3.3. The only reason that we can do it right now as of recording this video is because Apple is still signing 9.3.3 as well as the latest public firmware being iOS 9.3.4 and you can of course only only restore to a firmware that Apple is currently signing because there are so many checks and unless you can actually hack into Apple's remote servers, you're not going to be able to trick that. So for that reason, this tutorial will stop working once Apple stops signing iOS 9.3.3. So you need to view this video on the desktop version of YouTube because there will be an annotation up on your screens right now and that will correspond to whether or not Apple is still signing iOS 9.3.3. So if it's green, and it states they're still signing it, you're good to go. However, if you're watching this video at a later point and it's red, that means you will not be able to restore back to 9.3.3. You need to keep that in mind. This is a limited time tutorial, so you have to get in quickly and you have to downgrade ASAP, otherwise you will not be able to and you'll be stuck on iOS 9.3.4 until iOS 10 is released and subsequently a new jailbreak for iOS 10. So again, if you're watching this video on your iOS device, just be sure to navigate to it on your computer so that way you can view annotations and you can see whether or not they're still signing it. Also, as for when Apple's going to stop signing iOS 9.3.3, absolutely nobody knows. The only people that know are those internally at Apple and of course they're not going to give us a hint so you need to get in as soon as possible and downgrade right now guys because they could stop signing it in a couple days or a couple weeks we just don't know so again I'm going to say this one last time this is a limited time tutorial you need to downgrade now if you want a jailbreak also because we only really need one thing for this tutorial and that's just our devices corresponding IPSW or iPhone software file you will have to download the correct one that corresponds to your device. If you're experiencing any sort of issues and Apple is still signing 9.3.3, that's because you did not download the proper IPSW. Keep that in mind. It's very easy to obtain it. The link down below in the description will contain complete links for everything, including all IPSWs. So just keep that in mind. It has complete download links, including the latest version of iTunes. If iTunes is still throwing up issues, you want to check to ensure that you're on the latest version. All right, so let me show you guys how to use this resource. Again, it is found on the first link below. What you want to do, there are two drop downs, is over on the left hand side, select your device. And I'm actually just going to zoom in right here so we can get a better feel for it. I am using a 6th gen iPod Touch for this tutorial. So I'm just going to search for iPod and you can see down below at the bottom there, iPod Touch 6. And then you just select the corresponding firmware for it. It's really as easy as that. In this case, again, 9.3.3 and then just click on download. Also, one other thing to note is that on this site, if for whatever reason you happen to miss the annotation previously and Apple has stopped signing iOS 9.3.3, you will be able to quickly tell just by glancing at this dropdown. As you can see, previous firmwares that are no longer being signed are in red. So if you see iOS 9.3.3 in red on this website, that means that it is not being signed and you will not be able to restore back to it. But because it is currently, we're just going to select it right here and then just click on download. It's as easy as that. All right, so now that we have our IPSW, mine is on my desktop right here, which we just downloaded. 
remember you need to download the corresponding one for your device. We can go ahead and get started and just plug our device into our computer via a standard USB cable. First though, I want to show you guys that this 6th gen iPod Touch is in fact running iOS 9.3.4, the latest firmware that we're downgrading from before we actually get started here. So I'm just going to go inside of settings general about and down below for the version you'll notice that it does list iOS 9.3.4, the latest firmware with the latest build right there. All right, guys, so we're going to get into this now. Just go ahead and connect your device to your computer. All right, now just go ahead and launch up iTunes. And once you do, you need to navigate to the device screen. So I have my iPod Touch right here. All right, and we are inside of the device screen. You will notice right here, it does corroborate that we are running iOS 9.3.4. Now, this next bit does pertain to whichever operating system you are running on your computer. So because we are on a Mac with OS X, we're going to hold down the Option key on our keyboard. So let me bring my keyboard into view here. We're going to hold down the Option or Alt key. If you do have a Windows-based PC, you need to hold down Shift. Make sure you are holding down the corresponding key for your operating system. All right, so I'm holding down the Option key. Again, Windows, hold down Shift, and we're going to click on Check for Update. If you click on restore, you will lose all data. If we do check for update again, you will retain most data, including app data, which is absolutely awesome. So again, check for update and then just point this selection window at the iOS 9.3.3 IPSW already downloaded. Once you do that, you're going to click on open and then iTunes will prompt you if you're sure you want to update to iOS 9.3.3. Now remember, this isn't exactly updating. Instead, we're downgrading. It just says update because we used that option and we're using that option because again, remember, it does allow us to maintain most of our data. So it's actually really cool and kind of a workaround of sorts. We don't have to lose everything. Instead, we just have to utilize the check for update feature, point it at our iOS 9.3. 3.3 IPSW, and because Apple is still signing it, it kind of tricks iTunes into updating, so to speak, from iOS 9.3.4 to 9.3.3, even though in reality, we're actually downgrading. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update here, and I'm also going to zoom out just so we can get an overview of everything. Now I'm going to hold my iPod Touch up here just so you guys can see throughout the entire process. Now I am going to leave it up just so you can get a feel for it, and so you can see approximately how long it could take. Again, it may vary for you based on a number of factors, including your computer as well as your device. Feel free to skip ahead though. You don't need to watch this portion. It's not critical. Also at the top, iTunes will go through a number of verification checkpoints. Just so long as you've taken everything I've said thus far into account, you will be fine and you will be able to downgrade back to 9.3.3 so long as Apple's still signing it. Also, something else I should mention is that there will be two progress bars, the one that you see inside of iTunes at the top and the one that appears on your device. Now, they do not sync up. The one on your device represents the entire downgrade process, whereas the one inside of iTunes is just the current stage of the downgrade that it's actually on. So if you want an overview for the entire process, just refer to your device's progress bar. All right, it is moving through updating iPod software right now, and let's just go ahead and wait for it. All right, it's moved on beyond updating to verifying update iPod software. Remember I said there will be a number of verification checks. All 
All right, now it's back to updating iPod software. And as you can see, that concluded it right there after that last check. Okay, so it also says that the iPod has been updated and is restarting. We're at the Apple logo now, of course, and you can unplug your device from your computer. You no longer need it. However, you will see another progress bar beneath the Apple logo on your device. That's just the on-device consolidation step. Don't worry about that. Again, we can unplug it. That's just finalizing the update, so to speak. Again, in this case, the downgrade back to iOS 9.3.3. All right, and let's go ahead and just slide over here and I'm going to tap on cancel there. You will notice that we do have the exact same wallpaper that we had previously. This of course is a custom wallpaper and I also have my applications that I already had downloaded. Again, Pokemon Go as well as Twitter. Now we're just going to launch up the settings app followed by again, general about and down below at the bottom for the version, it does confirm that we are in fact running iOS 9.3.3. So it's as simple as that guys. It's very easy and very basic to actually go back to iOS 9.3.3 so long as Apple's still signing it. Now, if you do still encounter any sort of complications after this downgrade process, such as iTunes or the Apple Music portion of your device not functioning properly, then at that point, you need to connect your device to your computer again and launch up iTunes. Now, once iTunes is up, again, just navigate to your device screen, and I want you to do a couple of things here. So first and foremost, you're going to back up locally to your computer. Next, you're actually going to hold down the exact same key we talked about previously, depending on your operating system. Again, either the Option or Alt key on a Mac or the Shift key on Windows, except this time I want you to hold down that key and click on Restore. Ensure that you do have the Find My iPhone or Find My iPod or iPad feature turned off off, otherwise you will not be able to restore. That's just a safety precaution put in place by Apple to ensure that devices are not stolen. But once you go through that, just point that exact same window that we had for the update process to that iOS 9.3.3 IPSW. And then after that process is complete, just restore from the backup that you initially created. What that will do is a clean restore, so to speak. And then of course you will be putting your data back onto your device. That's just kind of a last resort method. Method. And of course, the exact same thing applies to that. You still have to ensure that Apple is signing iOS 9.3.3. If they're not, it will not work. It's as simple as that. And then either at that point, or if you were functioning completely fine after the check for update method, you can jailbreak. And you can do it via one of two ways. You can either do it through the on-device method, and that's as simple as just navigating to jailbreakme9.com. Of course, watching through the tutorial because you need to know how to successfully do it before you get started and then just downloading the application and following the requirements for the Pangu Jailbreak app, or in this case, the combination PP Pangu app, or by connecting your device to your computer and utilizing the method with Cydia Impactor and the English version of Pangu. Again, I have tutorials on all of that. I will have a link down below in the description that has absolutely every tutorial I've created for the iOS 9.3.x jailbreak. And then you guys should be good to go. I really hope this tutorial helps as many of you as possible while Apple is still signing iOS 9.3.3. Again, we don't know when they're going to stop signing it. So get in now. All right, and if this video did help you out, please drop a like on it. I definitely appreciate it. It took so long to create. And if you wanna be updated more often, such as when I release new tutorials similar to this one or jailbreak coverage, of course, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below. Oh.